Hey my sugars, welcome back to my channel. And before we get started, if you will, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for all my future videos. Now with that being said, I bet y'all like, girl, look like you had a rough day, and I didn't. I had a very relaxing day. When I came home, I took my hair down out of this pull ball, and I'm just letting it do what it do. Now, if it sound like I'm talking a little funny, it's because I got to get a root canal, so my tooth over here messed up. But I just got to let y'all know, the day that I had, it worked maybe two weeks ago, so I'm coming to y'all with the story time. Yay! So... I've been in a little funk since then, y'all. I got to stop working there. It's not for me no more. So, it's this grumpy old man that normally comes in in the morning time. My shifts do vary, but this section, well, this season, I'm on morning shifts, right? So, it's this grumpy old man that always come in there, you know. He wore the same thing every single day. So let me just start by saying I have to be to work super early in the morning, but I always have good mornings. I always have good vibes. Every time I go in, I'm a morning person. Like, So anyway, this is like a regular. So this old man normally comes and um he drives like a red truck with a trailer. So when we see that in the parking lot or whatever, we already see it. We'd be like, okay, we already know we're finna go down. So keep in mind, I'm like one of the kindest people that work there and probably the kindest person that works on the front end. I get that a lot from customers, from everybody else. When it, come with dealing, when it comes to dealing with a disgruntled customer, they call me. So with that being said, this man is super disgruntled. And he don't bathe. But that's besides the point. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He came in this particular morning. You know, the bullpen, which is still check out, was typically busy. I think it was like food stamp day, things like that. People getting a checks. I think it's around the first or no, around the end of the month. So he came in there or whatever. And um, no, nah, it was the first. Mm hmm. I'm gonna tell you how I remember that. But he came in there or whatever. And um, I'm busy, y'all. Keep in mind when you went self check out, you'll be busy. Like it's like three of you. What you feel like is about five of you because you run in here, you run there, you run everywhere. Like, I'm tending to about 10 to 9 registers by myself. Keep in mind, it's supposed to be at least four people down there, but I'm by myself. And they do that often, but it's besides the point. So, you know, I'm handling that thing like I always do. You know, my line moving real fast. I'm giving real great customer service or whatever. So, he come in with his same old church shoes on. His pants, his overalls, you know, his um pants at this point be creasing him so hard. It looks like he had what they would call a, but I can't say that. So, <laughs> and he have like his pants be like blue or whatever. And then he'll have on his overalls, his suspenders, putting them up so, so, so hard or whatever against his skin and stuff. Err. But anyway, um, and he'll have on a burgundy shirt with a hat on. So, Mr. Stank, roll on through there with that stank air and he was like come on over here and help me well if y'all ain't know self-checkout is called self-checkout for a reason you're supposed to check yourself out but however we do take it upon ourselves to still help people that can't check themselves out but really we ain't supposed to do that because we're supposed to keep our eyes on the prize which is supposed to be the, the thieves and stuff you know what i'm saying so um he was already disgruntled. I guess after he did his little daily walk through the store, excuse me, his daily ride through the store after he did his daily lurking in the parking lot because he typically will sit in the parking lot for about 30 minutes and watch flat booties, small booty, big booties, and wannabe booties ride by him, okay? He's a perv. Everybody know that. So he'll come in Walmart. Mr. Funk come on in Walmart, and he'll ride all through that thing. Looking at everybody up and down from head to toe. Uh, looking where the sun don't shine. Stuff like that. It's super creepy, super nasty, right? Don't know why ain't nobody reporting him. So, he comes in a bullpen. You know, everybody skedaddles. They want me to handle him because they try. And he sexually... He was sexually aggressive towards them. Put it like that. I had the same encounter. But, hey, I'm just able to shake stuff off and be like, whatever. So, I said, okay. You're going to have to give me a minute. I was like, um, you're going to have to give me a minute now because I'm, I'm real busy here today. I can't just stop and just ring your stuff up. But if you want to sit down, you want to wait about 
five or ten minutes, please give me that. Because at this point, I'm trying to help a customer solve something at the self-checkout right beside him to the right of me. Then I'm trying to help the customer solve... Um, then I, no, excuse me. Then I got about five more customers waiting. They was waiting patiently, but I was trying to get him to understand that you're going to be sitting there. So that time that you're sitting there at the register, you really could have been in line to let somebody check you out. One line or not, I'm only human. So, um, I finally get over there to Mr. Funky. Hey, Mr. Funky, how you doing? Good morning. <laughs> That's how I be greeting folks with her. I'm like, good morning. How you doing today? He's like, yeah. Uh, uh, re reading this stuff up. So I go to digging stuff out his booty, just digging stuff out his booty, and then I just shoot, shoot, just scan him, shoot, scan him. So, way after a while, he pulls out a human health card. And if y'all know what it is, basically, it's ba it basically EBT, pretty much in a nutshell, it's EBT, point blank period, but it's given through an insurance company or whatever. So, uh, human to be his egg. So, um, he was like, I don't want to go over 25. So he was already being grumpy. He didn't really, really speak back in a sense like he normally would. It's like, he was like, why are you greeting me? You won't, you don't want me to greet you, but you want my help. So way after a while, you know, I'm from the country, way after a while, but after a while, excuse me. He pull out the card, y'all. Keep in mind, at this point, I'm been scanning, scanning, scanning. I don't scan the least 10 items. This man ain't said nothing about he had a limit, none of that. And I told him, keep in mind, I told him the machine that he going to was card only. I said, if you go right there, it's going to be card only now. So, I'm going to need for you to just use a card. And I'm trying to pull out no cash later on. I ain't say that, but I said it in my head because they'll do you like that, you know? Thinking that you could just change the, machi the machine, like... I don't know why people think we magicians, but I can't just change the machine like it is what it is. So, homeboy was like, eh, what it now? Uh oh, I got uh, $25 of here that I want to use. Okay, sir, that's all you're going to use? $25? That's it? I said, well, it's $27. Baby, I must have said something that just rocked his world because I said, okay, well, it's like $27.94. I believe that was the total. This, this him. 10 is the card. Here he goes. He I said, I got $25. I said, well, I'm sorry, sir, but you didn't relay that message to, message to me after I surpassed the point of being at $25. It's $27.94. Now, I can scan your card, and if you want to Pay a different way you can, but you're going to have to use card because I told you this is card only. Didn't I just tell you that I only got $25? Yes, sir. I understand that. Give me a card, please. So I grabbed this card and I scanned it. How are you going to pay for the rest of this? Because at that point, honey, he was... Oh, okay. I said, so how are you going to pay for the remaining balance? That's all I was asking you. So in my head, I'm like, since you don't really understand me... Let me show you, because I can show you better than I can tell you. So, I showed him or whatever. I said, now you have a remaining balance of, like, what, $2? Y'all, I kid you not. This man sat there, act like he hit me. He started egging me. That's what we say down here. Egging. In other words, he started ignoring me. I ain't like that, but I ain't saying that. At the end of the day, that's my job. I'm going to keep it professional. So, um... Sir, how would you like to pay for this? You know, this is a car only machine as well. So you're going to have to use a car to pay for it. So he begging, keep in mind at this point, he begging all his grocers, like just begging them and, and put them over in the cart, like the little Ryan cart. He's just begging his grocery and just taking the mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now you finna blow me because you egging me and I got other people I can be tending to. So while he was trying to figure that out, I said, excuse me, can you wait a second, please? And I went not tend to my other customers while he was trying to figure out his second payment. Y'all, I was going to pay for it for him, though. But his attitude was just so stank. Like, you already stank and then you're going to throw that up in the air. I don't need none of that. <laughs> I already finna pass out up under a mask, okay? So, um, he was like... So I went back over there. Have you figured out how you going to do this? How you going to do that? He ignored me. So this man pulled out cash. Sir, you can't use this. I did explain to you before you came here. This this was card only. You told me you was, you was using card only. Like, you can't use nothing else. And he's sitting here just trying to put in the machine, this and this, blah, blah, blah. He ignored me, y'all. 
So he sat back down in the um cart or whatever. He bagged all, like I said, he had bagged all his groceries up. So I had to go help another customer. I walked off. When I tell you this man, I was on my way back over there at this point. This man literally acted like he was about to ride out door with them groceries. I said, sir, look, I would hate to do this to you. But since you do not want to listen to me, and since you're trying to ride off of Walmart's property with these groceries, and I'm clearly communicating with you, and you don't want to communicate with me, so let me call my security, well, my AP from the door, and let me see if she can have this for you. I'm going to have to call security on you, because at this point, you're trying to take the groceries and make a run for it, and I can't have that, okay? So, he already mad at whatever, whatever, so I ain't going to call her by her name. I'm going to call her... I don't want to do that. I'm just call her Missy. <laughs> I'm going to call her Missy. So, Missy come up there and stand in between there. Okay, baby, what's going on? I said, Missy, can you see if you can help him? Because he don't want to listen to me. At this point, this is me, this him, and this Missy right here in the middle. So, I'm like, well, Missy, do you think you can, like, talk to him, try to figure out what his next payment method is going to be because I told him this was card. You know, I explained to her the whole hoopla. I was like, he's trying to ride out of here with these groceries. Y'all kids, y'all not. Miss C was standing so close to this man and this is me because he barely left in a room between the restaurants because like I told you, he liked to get fresh with his perverted self. This man literally, when I was telling her the story, I think I said these exact words. All I said was He's trying to ride out of here without his groceries, and he know he didn't make the full payment for these groceries, and I'm not trying to get in trouble and lose my job. This man literally turned to me. I didn't say that effing sh The hood right down in the building. I said, excuse me? I said, what? I didn't say that. And then, because that's how I was looking, because I was finna psych out. You don't, you don't speak to me in that manner. And I told him straight up, I said, excuse me, sir, I don't know who you talking to, but you ain't talking to me. And with the while, I just so happened to look over there. I happened to peer over the other way. And I realized that he had a knife in his hand, y'all. He had it cuffed like this. This man literally pulled out a knife on me. The whole time you had been going on your pocket in your pocket or whatever, I ain't seen no weapon. McCarroll said it had been on his hip. So that makes me know that you got it off your hip and you pulled it out on me. He acted like he wanted to cut me. You 70 some years old. And that's what what are you trying to do to me? Not trying to be funny, but the way he moved, I probably could have knocked him out that chair before he even cut me. But I'm not gonna stand a chance. That man cussed me from A to C. That man harassed me verbally so bad to the point it wasn't even funny. And the whole situation just escalated. I went, I, I promise you, I told him, I said, I don't know who you talk to, but ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that. And I was standing right there, and some said just walk off. So I walk off. And the lady come, a, a customer came and she was like, baby, just pray for him, pray for him. This man yelled at me so bad that they heard him from the grocery bullpen all the way back there to paper pets and chemicals. That's past HBA, like all the deodorant and stuff. That's all the way to the back of the store. He was calling me all types of bees. He was getting in my face. He was yelling to the top of his lung, dropping all types of elf bones, making me look bad, just going off on me. So at this point, mentally, I'm raging. I'm a very calm person. I don't really get turned up. I be chilling. I don't be with all that drama stuff. Not I. I rarely get mad. And if I do, you'll never know. Never. So I'm like, I'm walking past her. She was like, baby, don't, don't be upset or whatever. She was like, you just pray for him, pray for him or whatever. She was like, just ask God to forgive him. I said, well, God better forgive him real quick. And that's exactly how I looked at her. And that's what I told her. I said, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I don't know where that came from. But um, I got to get out of here because he finna make me skyrocket him right on out there, though. So at that point, I feel like it would have really pissed him off if I would have came back with a hot rag of soap and basis for him since he wanted to talk. Hmm. Anyway, so I don't, I'm just walking down there. So I go to my manager. I'm like, hey, Miss Miss Nee, whatever, you know. Um... Y'all need to call the police. Don't call it for him. Call it for me. Because it's about to go down. <laughs> but now nah, I was like, look, we got a situation down there. So, miss. So, 
Miss Lollipop. I'm going to call her Miss Lollipop, which is a lady I've been working with for years. She's older. So, Miss Lollipop and Miss Neat, which is the manager, they went down there or whatever. The whole situation escalated. They had to call the sheriff. I had to sit in the office. Things of that matter. Things of that nature. Blah, blah, blah. But, y'all. So, they basically burned a copy of the receipt. They went to his house or whatever and put out, you know, that he couldn't be trespassing, blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff or whatever. And um, the crazy thing is, this is the fastest the police ever reacted in this city. That's weird. The police down here don't come to scenes very quickly. So, but I guess because they heard that he pulled out a knife on me, then they came right on. So, they wanted to see was I okay physically, stuff like that. I had to talk to them, let them know what was going on. They was about to pull him over and get him down, but they couldn't because they needed proof. They just so happened to be on their way and meeting him on his way out the parking lot, right? So, after this or whatever, y'all, this man still, like, lit up. This is why I stay prayed up. Like, seriously, I stay prayed up. I say my prayers. I stay aware because the side of town I work on is not the safest. Like, I live on a totally different opposite side of town than what I work on. And that side of town don't have a good reputation. I work over there simply because I was staying on campus over there at that college that was on that side. So, um... Y'all, I'm in the y'all. I was finna spaz. I had my hands like this, and I'm I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I was finna spaz out. My eyes were red. They were teary, like things like that. I wasn't finna cry and let no tear drop. But at the end of the day, I wanted to let these hands flop. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but now I was just playing. But um, it was just real crazy, and it's like the whole experience is like taking a toll on me mentally like i should have to have to excuse me i should have to come to work and be worried about what's going to happen today what's going to happen tomorrow and then so so on and so forth anyway if i start rambling so the man had been back in there like the next day i reported it to the manager and the manager like oh okay they say that so i just stayed in the break room till he left um so i just walk off from my area whenever he come in there since ain't nobody want to do that because it was during a period of maybe three days where he came in there back to back and one time i was putting up returns i just so happened to be on the aisle by myself snuck up on me he snuck up on me i didn't even hear him i didn't see him nothing did and he's looking at me like this just cussing and stuff so i ain't saying that i just let him have it i looked at him like he was crazy because at this point it's not that serious but, like I was saying, that man can be coming in there, scoping out the scene, trying to figure out my exact work schedule, trying to see when he can do this, how he can do it, because he'd be sitting in the parking lot. He watched me walk all the way across the parking lot one time by myself. Then he'll go and lie and try to make me lose my job, telling folks, oh, yeah, she's, she cussing at me, she cussing me out, or she better there right now saying little crazy stuff to me, this and this. And I'm like, are y'all not going to ban him to the store? So, I think maybe... Three days after the third day that he came in there or whatever, it was, I think this was like a couple of days ago, actually. He um came in there, Miss C spotted him. She came to me running. She grabbed me by my hand. She was like, you need to go. You need to go right now because that man is in here. And I told him he couldn't be in here. No, she was like, he's sitting in the parking lot. I've been watching him, but I need for you to go hide because he can't be in here. And I'm going to let him know that. Keep in mind, he had an issue with Miss C too. And all she was trying to do was help and diffuse the situation. So, pretty much, um, she was like, baby, come on, baby. She was like, come on, baby. So, she grabbed my hand and she just was running, running, running. I'm like, wait a minute, Miss, Miss, um, Missy, wait a minute. Now, I said, that man ain't in the store, so I ain't got no reason to feel. I said, I don't pray about it. I'm fine. I don't feel like nothing's going to happen to me, but I'm not going to be unaware for nobody. I'm going to make sure I keep a check on my surroundings. So, he finally came in. She went and got the AP, which is the asset protection manager or whatever. And I had to sit in the office. He called the police. I had to stay in the office or whatever or stay stationary. By the time the police got there, I kid y'all not, this man hadn't even rung up and got out of there. The police got there. They took their time about coming. They came within like a 40-minute radius, which is crazy. So they came within like a 40-minute time frame or whatever. So they got there, they looked around the store. This man must have got out that, that chair and ran and spread funk everywhere while he was running out the door. Because at this point, what are you? How did you move that fast? And that just lets me know that that man know he ain't got no bending bending though. But y'all, for the most part, that kind of messed me up mentally. It's always the men on this side of town, always. I shouldn't have to come to work and be 
more concerned about a customer retaliating on me. Like, that's weird to me. Y'all literally told, I literally was told, well, if I see him shopping or whatever, just go the opposite way. I'm not just going the opposite way. He should be banned. That should not be okay. Like, we get no protection as employees working at Walmart. That's the truth. Like, when they say the customer's always right, they meant that, and that's not okay. I got to get out of there, though. But, weird thing, an old man came to find me. He said, hey, sweetie. Say yes, sir, how you doing today? I'm like, you always be so nice. He was like, I just wanted to, to check on you. He said, I was dying there when you and the old man hadn't got into it. And I want to tell you, he's crazy. Just try to avoid him as much as you can and stay safe and report him whenever change you get because... Us down here, we know him, and we surprised he ain't been got locked up. I'm not from this area, so I don't know anyone to be truthful. I don't know the people. I just know the people I work with, and that's work. It only goes as far as work, so. He was like, yeah, he's crazy. You know, he sexually, he tried to sexually harass my grandbaby. I had to come get on him and other stuff like that. I'm just like, boy, 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 this place is crazy. But I got to get out of there. I'm going to get out of there soon. I'm going to stay safe. But, yeah, that's where I've been mentally lately. Trapped, like. <laughs> but that just, this story is so crazy. I have, a, like, a landmine full of stories. Like, if y'all hear it, y'all thoughts will explode. With like, what the heck? Well, how did this, da, da, da. I'm going to start putting all that up here because I got a lot to say. But, child. Anyway, and guess what? I got a birthday vlog to upload I got to show y'all my birthday presents that I got. Uh, my birthday was July 21st. I'm going to try to go ahead and upload them videos now. But I had just got a camera, y'all. I had a great time. My boyfriend just made everything go so lovely. And I got to tell y'all about how my friends did me on my birthday. Very nasty. Do I talk to them? No, I do not. <laughs> but, hey, it's all love. But... Anyway, that's the end of today's story time, y'all. Stay tuned and have a lovely day. Toodles.